EMG testing is a, is a minimally invasive uh, clinical test that can tell you a lot. And we're going to look at a few uh, uh, different things that, that you can learn through EMG testing. So EMG is just short for electromyography. You're recording the electrical potential of a muscle. So you're putting an, an electrode into the muscle, hooking it up to recording equipment, and you're looking at the action potentials the contra I'm sorry, you're looking at the, the, the electrical signal of the contractions of the different fibers. And you're going to record the, the fibers that if, um, if this is your electrode, you're, you're going to record fibers in an area around the end of that electrode. Here's the recording site. And you'll record the activity of a large number of muscle fibers around that. And, and what you're going to ask the person to do is just to relax. And when they're relaxed, you're going to, what you're going to see in a healthy individual is a flat line. And then you're going to say, OK, make, make a small contraction. And you're going to start to see the signature of a given uh, motor unit. And these, the first ones activated are going to be what type of motor unit? SFR or FF? Well, they're going to be S, the orderly recruitment, right? So the first ones activated are going to be these, these S. They're going to be small until they start to fire very rapidly, in which case you start to engage uh, the, next, the next one. And you'll, you'll get another, you'll get a different waveform for uh, an S. Uh, and another one will come in, and you'll have this one as well. And then you'll start to get, so you'll have S, and then you'll start to get FR, and then you'll start to get FF. And by the time you get out here, you're close to, you're asking the person to do a maximal contraction. Contract your muscles as hard as you can, and what you get is there's so many uh, muscle fibers going off that it looks uh, it looks like noise. So let's just look at, at the slides here for a moment. Um, that is shown here. There's rest. There's just a little electrical noise, a minimal contraction. You see identifiable units that are firing. The first one, the first identifiable unit that comes in is this red unit, and then the blue one is recruited, and then the orange one is recruited. But then by the time you get to a maximal contraction, this is what it looks like. It looks like a mess because this is just lots and lots of, of um, simultaneously active uh, uh, motor units contracting. All right, now let's take, let's consider um, a couple of, of uh, diseases. What would happen if, the, if there was muscular dystrophy? If there was muscular dystrophy, the muscle itself is, is not working, right? So the, the, the motor units are fine, but these muscle fibers are, are actually not going to contract. They're not going to give any signature. And so what you're going to see is a really, it are going to be small. These uh, motor units will be small, and there will be few of them. So you'll get much, much reduced recruitment at your mass, maximal contraction. It's going to be uh, uh, small motor units, very few of them, a low maximal contraction. Let's take a different uh, possibility, which is uh, called poliomyelitis. This is what we typically call polio. Um, and so this is a disease that's uh, caused by um, a virus that is taken up by motor neurons. So the, here's a motor neuron. It innervates a muscle. The poliovirus comes in here. The poliovirus is transported back to this motor neuron, gets into the central nervous system, past the dura through this Trojan horse approach, and then it, it kills this, this motor neuron. And remember that you have a pool of, let's say, 5,000 motor neurons innervating a, 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 a muscle. And let's say that 1,000 of them or 2,000 of them die and 3,000 of them remain. Well, 
what will happen? So let let's say that 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 um, this is a, a a motor unit, an S motor unit that remains, but there were there are these other S um, slow twitch muscle fibers that used to be innervated by a dead S motor unit. Okay, so here's one that's dead, and now these are no longer innervated. What happens to this remaining one is that it sprouts and, it's, uh, and it comes over here and it innervates uh, these additional muscle fibers that were denervated because of the loss of the motor neurons. The same thing will happen for these fast fatigables. So now they're going to get extra uh, muscle fibers that they're going to innervate. And so what would, be the, what would be the consequence of that? The consequence of that would be that the, every motor unit would be s larger than usual. Okay, there would be fewer of them, slightly fewer of them, diminished recruitment, but these are gonna be large because the remaining motor neurons have sprouted to innervate um, additional uh, muscle fibers. There's one other, um, important thing that you can get from EMG testing that you really need EMG testing for. And that is to, to record the smallest type of muscle twitches. And the, there are two different types of muscle twitches. One is called a fasciculation and one is called a fibrillation. And the, their identity is in their name. A fasciculation means, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the contraction of a, of a fascicle of muscle. So it's multiple muscle fibers. It is the contraction, a fasciculation is the contraction of a single motor unit. Single motor unit. A fibrillation is the contraction of a single muscle fiber. It is the only uh, instance of any, anything in the motor world that is subquantal, that is sub the motor unit that divides the motor unit. It's the only thing where you get a fibril, one muscle fiber, not the whole motor unit contracting. It is not visible. One, most, one muscle fiber is not visible. One motor unit is visible. The contraction of one motor unit is visible. The contraction of one muscle fiber is not. And it is not, de because it's not detect detectable visibly, it is only detectable through EMG testing. So it is a sign. It is a is a clinical sign that you can de detect, but you're not gonna see without looking for it. These have two different, very very different meanings. So a fasciculation, the vast majority of fasciculations are benign. They're visible and they're benign. So there is a benign fasciculation symptom. I, 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 everybody, I, I can't think of too many people I know over the age of even 20 that don't have a muscle twitch here or there. Okay, so there's a benign fasciculation syndrome. Um, now, on the other hand, fibrillations uh, are pathological. They are a sign of denervation. They are only are going to occur in a, in a muscle where motor neurons have died and there is a loss of the uh, motor neuron innervation of the muscle. There is a lot of anxiety amongst uh, physicians, and so uh, there was a really interesting paper, uh, this was just four years ago, Fasciculation Anxiety Syndrome in Clinicians. And if you read this paper, it, it, it sat, you, when you first see this paper, you think, oh, well, this is gonna show you how anxious um, medical students are about this. And I think medical students are somewhat anxious about having twitches when most of the twitches are benign. But this was actually a study of, of 60 year, the median age here was around 60, and these are practicing physicians. And there were 20, um, 20 physicians that came in uh, complaining of fasciculations. And actually one in the 20 had, had amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. If you're in the 60 range, then and you have fasciculations, and you're a physician, and you're worried about it, you might have reason to be worried about. It. Now, the other 19, or the uh, another, I think 17 out of the 20 did not have anything uh, significant wrong, but a few of them did. So, um, anyway, that's uh, 
but for for 20 20 something year old medical students uh the take home message is that fasciculations are are normal in the vast vast majority of cases okay so now we're going to move on from the m muscle in the motor unit to look at reflexes <music>